Hi, my name is Dave Pastore. I'm the Director of IT and Telecommunications Strategic Sourcing at Source One Management Services. And I'm here today to talk about how most organizations are letting 30% or more of their telecommunications spend go unreviewed. Um, it's not really a secret that um, taxes, surcharges, and fees can add up to 30% uh, or more of, of the overall telecom spend within an organization. Um, and they're labeled just like that, taxes, surcharges, and fees. And most organizations um, find that it, it's difficult enough to just reconcile their services um, against their contract, let alone understanding all the regulation that goes into um, those those charges and costs below the bottom line. Having that challenge in terms of reviewing invoices results in a lot of organizations having to just come up with very simple um, metrics for processing their invoices for approval um, to, to be paid. So, for example, were the services charged, you know, within 10% of the last month? If so, then fine, it's okay to go ahead and pay. Um, but what about those taxes, surcharges, and fees that are adding up to 30% or more of the invoice? Nobody's really actually checking that. But you may be asking yourself, why bother to check that? There's not really anything that can be done about it, right? I mean, taxes and surcharges aren't negotiable, and the carriers can't get away with billing them incorrectly, right? Um, surcharges and fees just come with the territory. Everybody just pays them, and we're stuck paying them, right? Well, the answer is wrong to all of those things. Well, it's true that the mechanics of uh, taxes, surcharge, and fees can be a bit complex. They're not really indecipherable. And once you take the time to unravel them once, auditing them routinely can be done with relative ease um, and can, can pay significant dividends. The truth is that some taxes aren't actually taxes, uh, not, not at least the way that we know them or are familiar with them. Their name just sounds like a tax. So for example, property tax allotment. Uh, some surcharges indeed are mandated, uh, while others are simply passed through from the FCC to the carriers and from the carriers on to the end customer. But some of them are functions of one another and some of them change from time to time. Uh, and so anyone who's ever reviewed a telecom invoice knows when changes occur on the invoice, the carriers will generally find a way to mess it up. Uh, most notably, we've seen instances where, for better or worse, Tier 2 carriers have made significant mistakes in their surcharge policies that led to massive swings in unbilled or overbilled surcharges. So from an audit perspective, a huge amount of the invoice flies completely under the radar and significant errors and recoveries may be identified. Further gaining and understanding these costs can pave the way to better decisions in the future to help control costs, uh, beyond ser services and below the bottom line. So am I suggesting to negotiate surcharges and fees? Not at all. However, being savvy about the services that you're, you're buying and whether or not they're state regulated or federally regulated and how the taxation and surcharging works for those services actually can have a significant influence on your next purchasing decision. In fact, many of the instances that we've worked uh, on behalf of clients uh, where we, we've come in after they've put their own deals together, we've seen you know everything looked good on paper in their analysis, um, only to find that the difference in the way the carriers are either regulated or position their services or, and technologies has had a huge influence on the overall cost. And by the time the, the client got their first invoice under the new agreement, they actually paid significantly more um, than what they had anticipated going into those deals. And so, of course, most organizations or, or many organizations may not have the time or um, ability to invest in the resource to fully understand the ideas behind taxes and surcharges and fees that the carriers are assessing against their ever-evolving portfolios of services. And so for help auditing uh, these types of charges and making more informed go forward to decisions to make sure that you're realizing uh, the savings that you anticipated or are coming under um, the budget that you're uh, accounting for, you should contact Source One Management Services and we'd be happy to help you. Thanks for tuning in to the Source One podcast. Remember to visit us online at www.sourceoneinc.com.
For more insights from our strategic sourcing and procurement experts, check out our blog at www.strategicsorcerer.com. Want to provide us feedback? Have an idea for another podcast? Let us know by emailing us at prrequest at source1inc.com. Thanks for listening.